So, a bit of a wet, miserable, horrible day. Camera's dirty. Still no better. Um, so, we're going to have a workshop day. Yes, he's got the edge cutter on. So, we've got a few other bits and pieces. I've actually done a couple of little jobs on my van there in sequential. But we are going to do some work to, hit to the edge cutter. First job, um, don't think it's going to do much good cutting edges there at the moment. So, we have a good few hundred quid's worth of gear, believe it or not. Sat on the workbench. So, we are doing just basically doing it properly uh new bolts new nuts new lock washers new bushes new flails um i have started sharpening them because this is how they come sort of from the factory um there's a bit of an edge on them there but they're not fantastic so uh yeah sharpening underneath and and the Front. don't usually do that as a rule but just putting a nice edge on them to get them on so uh, I'll get a few done and then we might start recording right so we are down to our last two so didn't film anything before this because well my phone was about to die so quite simple these to fix um, bolt the lock washer push inside the the flail, it's going to be a tight one, it's a little bit of gentle persuasion. Then lock washer and a lock wash, lock nut underneath. So loving, loving this kit. So all this lot has come off uh, Frank Alviti. They are a McConnell specialist based down in Ludlow, where the edge cutters are made. And to be fair, if you're running McConnell's, he's a man to go to. There's, there's, uh, there's no affiliation with him. It's just, uh, yeah, he's if you're deal, dealing with McConnell stuff, he he's a man to know. So whole idea with this, obviously having the bush in the middle, so that when this all tight items up basically the bush will be tight on the lugs but the flail will still be free switch free swinging so if you do hit anything the flail will not back and theoretically not damage anything so that's the last one There is a bit of play in the in the logs, but at the end of the day, <laughs> this isn't a brand new edge cutter. This edge cutter is realistically probably about as old as the tractor. Right. Time to nail them all down. See, nice and free swinging. Nice seeing that they have got a bit of play in there, so quite happy with that. So, right, I'm going to nail the rest of these in. I'm sure you don't want to hear me rattling through them. And then on to the next job. Next job. 
uh, need to swap the shaft out because okay it's on at the moment um, but that is a six spline shaft which is what the edge cutter quite often the edge cutters come in um, but anybody that does quite a bit of edge cutting will know you tend to run it in a thousand rpm mean because it means you can run your tractor at like 1100 revs to get your 450 pto speed um Bond tractors, that's not a trouble. You go in the button, in the cab and you push a button or pull a lever and you put it into 540p thousand. Obviously, a lot of modern tractors, you've got like eco modes in one in both. Um, but the old schools, quite often you have this arrangement. Now, the, <laughs> that one's not being used. Uh, this one needs clean in up. Um, and this is how you get your different PTO speeds. There's two different gears in the back of the tractor. And as you can see, there's two different splines, which is what they engage into. So in order to have 1,000 RPM, I need my 21 spline shaft. But the PTO on the hedge cutter is a six spline shaft. So I'm not a fan of these and I'm going to address it in due course because um, I have got a spare 540 and 1,000 shaft. So I can find a good man to basically cut the ends off the both the shafts and make me a 1000 RPM six blind shaft. But for now, we are going to use one of these. Never just been a fan of them, um, but needs must. So, first thing I better do is get that shaft cleaned. Right, I don't know quite how much you're going to see of this. We're going to have a go. Shaft change. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll do. I can't see a great deal because I'm in my own shadow. Snap ring out. New chef ready. All nice and clean now. So he's trying to get it all to line up, but that's that's gone relatively easily. Right, where's me peg gone now? I don't know whether you see this. Is this the wrong way? That's the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> oh, you're an idiot. Not quite sure what that's actually showed. Um, but yeah, down there we've got like a little, I think it's a, uh, not a cotter pin, roll pin goes into that, uh, what's the name? So, this has to sit either side of that. And has to make sure it goes all the way home, otherwise they come out while they're running and do quite a bit of damage usually. I'm doing a, a peg. Oh, you awkward little git. Go on. <laughs> Wrong side. We can right dash of this.
There we go. Right. So that's in the groove. That is in the groove, lovely. Can't believe I had the camera the wrong way. Adapter on. This was what I was worried about. <laughs> oh, you awkward get. I don't really want to take anything off the shaft. See if I've got a little bit of, got just a little bit of play on that end. Might just. Otherwise, I'm going to end up cutting the shaft down, which I really didn't want to do. Is that... Oh, dear God. I'll come back to you in a minute. Oh. So like I said, it's just access sort of stuff. This was a big tree all overgrowing. Um, basically we do a bit of silage up here, contractors do, it's not far away from my yard and basically it was a headache trying to get anything through there, so uh, I said I'd just smash it back for them, and then we've got a, a bit of a narrow road that uh, just run up the side of the edge a couple of times and just widen out so that uh, traffic can get in and out of there. That'll do for the test. Right, I mean, I was going to do some nice kind of out of the cab shots, but I think that'll have to wait. I'm, I'm, I'm just not getting out of the cab unless I need to here at the moment. The weather has gone a little bit British summertime. You know what? I'm going to have to enjoy it. Sacrilege. So this is basically, basically nobody knows when this edge was last cut. But it's getting really bad trying to get down here in just two cars, let alone trying to get down here with tractors, so going back I hope I don't find more wire because the other side I found some really like almost like green, concrete green, reinforcing wire so that's done with brand new flails the power of good also, I don't even know how much you can see because of not too bad and then uh, come out to do this and it's gone bad weather wise I mean not that's quite nice Ooh. can't even see the bloody telegraph pole in the damn thing Bushes, 
miles. Another bit of the same. Oh, wham, that's wham. Don't know where the hell it's coming from. Christ, that's wham. That's three of the pieces then. Don't know where it's coming from, but that's really annoying doing stuff like that. Dad's just nicked him, it hasn't uh, done too much damage, but it's not what you want on new flails, is it? Right, so we're back the yard. Looks like you've done some work. Oh, get rid of that horrible bloody thing. It doesn't look right on the edge cutter. I, need to, I don't know why that one stopped working. Uh, I reckon we've leaned back a bit too far as well. But... Um, we do need to get the A-frame so that all needs adjusting anyway. Really pleased on how that bumper turned out. So it it started off as a workshop video and it, it's it's progressed. Um, Hang on, I'll clean them lenses off. So big Fergie, we've only got Richard Weston on, and we're silaging. Uh, this field that me and the other lad uh, 
we mowed it Tuesday. And uh, then we messed around with some other thing. Uh, was that yes? I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track of the days, but uh, little Fergie's had a bit of fun. So got her on the on the little rake. Was just moving it round the yard. That is a big, heavy, long lump. Um, so yeah, that was the morning. Then uh, she's now currently. Uh, well, this is now currently what she's doing. So yeah, she's she's become the great grain drying tractor. Um, she's happy enough sat on there, so uh, that's what she'd been up to. And then yesterday, we what did we do yesterday? Oh, a bit of sorting out in the morning, and then yesterday afternoon, we had this big girl doing this. So I think that's caught you up from Monday to now, which is Thursday morning. Nine o'clock Thursday morning. Uh, we've got the rake quite a bit ahead of us. Doubt we'll see the rake today. Um, but yeah, we are getting this grass in about 160 acres, I think. Uh, I'll do some bit of crop on it. Mowed off nice and tidy. Oh. I'll have from one of the other contractors helping out. Uh, he's got on his 724 with a 16 ton NC trailer on the back. Quite a smart, well built trailer to be fair. So. Of course, if you if you're not aware, the chopper is is I forgot what the chopper is. Seven 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 hundred I, I think. Find out in a minute. Nine seven hundred I. Why do I think it's seven seven hundred I? Nine seven hundred I is what she is. I'm far too close to be able to see that properly. Uh, and of course we've got the old uh, K2 compactor trailer on it. Right. Follow them around and look busy. Right, so we're next day. We're on Friday now. I'm not sure whether I said yesterday was Friday, but that was actually Thursday. Um, but uh, back with the big Fergie. Bale trailer on the back. Uh, one of the other lads with this. We've just gone and picked two bale trailers up off, uh, off one of their friends. And we've got a bit of a long haul to drag some bales back to the yard. I think there's just over 200, but there was another field over there that hadn't been bailed, so find out whether that's been bailed. Yes. As you can see, um, we were due a wet day, it's coming wet, so hence the reason it's the ideal day to bring, bring the bales home. Apparently. God, I love a squeaky seat doesn't get old all day long. 
I think it's a massy thing. So we're on to Saturday. Uh, gonna make this the last day for recording. We'll try and get this all together and get it out tonight. Um, actually, a bit of sunshine. It was a horrific night weather-wise, but we've got the sun back. Big Fergie's had a bath, so she's now shiny and red. And uh, we're out with the spreaders. Spread a bit of sludge cake. I've got the the K2. The lad's got the Bunnings, and of course, the old 435 uh, loading up. Oh, I've just noticed my beacon is still on. <laughs> not that we need them. It's not a very busy field, there's only the three of us in it. So, we're going to finish this video. Back in stubble fields. We're back combining. 6480. I think this is the first time I've ferried with the 6480. I know she's not looking very clean from being on the dryer. Uh, weight pack on, 14 tonne western on her. And, uh, yeah, they're actually demoing a 35 foot. Macdon flex header. If you want to see that, probably more than the tractor. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit of laid wheat we've got, so uh, ideal to give it a go. Don't know how long we've got it for, I don't know. It's just for this field. But uh, well, you can see the job it's doing. Kind of wet bit there. But uh, yeah, shaving it off nicely. I was hoping to get a bit of good footage, but uh, we've had a couple of niggles, so just want to just crack on and get done, really. Does look some header though. So that's it. I think we're going to call it uh, video done. I'm, I think this is probably going to be long enough as it is. So. Uh, Big old grubby thumbs up. If, don't forget to give it one if you've enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, videos have gone random, pretty much like my life is. So uh, if you want to see the videos come up, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. I'm hoping the wind isn't destroying this too much. Uh, comments, you know, it's there uh, uh, to have a, have a chat to each other. I try my best to get back to you, you guys shop if you like any merchandise the link will be in the description for that that is it we are done we are we are i'd like to say we're out of here but we'll be a while yet um so as always stay safe stay well look after yourselves and look after each other and we'll see when i get around to doing the next one